Hello, I'm Toycat and welcome back to the video. Today I have some pretty good Fortnite news to share with you all because the V1.10 update is now available for Fortnite on all platforms, that's Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and the PC. You can download it right now and it does include quite a few things, however the big thing this update, they've been doing this more and more lately, the update came out today but the big thing is coming out tomorrow, they're revealing what it will be tomorrow and then you'll be able to give it a, a try a new limited time mode. However, in today's video we're going to be focusing on the rest of the update and letting you know what's going on there so hopefully you all do enjoy it. Let's get straight into it and let's start by talking about the brand new inventory UI. So one of the big things uh, that people kind of get upset with, myself included, in Fortnite is the fact that the inventory really doesn't work quite well. I know a lot of PC guys don't have an issue with it, but on controller, it sucks. You have to like click on something, click on something again, click on a third thing, click on the fourth thing, and it's like, wow, I just wanted to switch two items. So they're making the inventory a lot better, and now it's uh, also semi-transparent, so you can actually see the game while it's going up, you know, the important part of the game, that is, and that's really exciting to me because it means that you can be more protected while you're giving people resources or while you're giving people all this other sort of stuff, and also it's going to be a lot more controllable friendly, which is good given that Fortnite is a game which is successful on PC, but you know, a lot of the part of why it's going to be bigger than PUBG in my opinion is the fact that it's on consoles and they're really paying attention to controller support as well as paying attention to the fact that people want to be able to see the game and do stuff at the same time. They're making that possible and I think it's kind of wonderful. So that's the first big thing this update. They've changed the inventory UI so now you can see it like that and I think that's kind of useful if you ask me. But then also as well as that, we've also got some changes to other items such as, uh, you know, reduced aim assist on controllers in general, uh, making it easier to lead targets with sniper rifles. Uh, basically, the sniper rifle was almost impossible to use if you're competent on controller because, again, it would like stick to the person so you couldn't go in front of them. Uh, they've reduced the aim assist just altogether, it seems, to make that work. And they've also made it easier to change uh, consistently. So they're going to be making aim assist change a lot in the next few updates. Don't get used to it too much, I guess, which is kind of useful, I guess. Uh, they've also decreased the chance of getting bandages from treasure chests and supply drops by 35%. So, again, this is kind of a big one because 99% of the time you get bandages, you're like, oh, uh, fair enough then. Like 1% of the time you really need bandages and you're happy to find them, but the other 75% or 99% of the time you're just like, okay, I'll add these to the pile and maybe they'll come in useful. And most of the time they never do. One of the, you know, like 400 games I play at this point has come in useful having uh, bandages. And I think that's just something that goes to show that maybe they should re readjust that and they have adjusted that. So then also we got a bunch of bug fixes, this sort of stuff, such as uh, making uh, chests and doors have network priority, which means that they won't uh, remain closed for a long time after you open them. That's such a big deal. The number of times you've been trying to open a chest that's already open while someone shoots you. It's just terrible, it feels bad, and they're fixing that, giving it network priority. I like that term personally. Um, also, players will no longer fall through the world if they're eliminated while jumping. Happened a bunch of times, really weird, uh, kind of strange stuff. Um, also, dancing no longer goes on cool dead out if it fails to play, so you can dance to your heart's content even more now. Uh, chests and attics will no longer respawn loot on roofs, uh, will no longer spawn loot on roofs or outside the walls. So, yeah, everything should be contained within the building that you're expecting, and given that most chests are in attics, that's kind of a big deal. Also, I fixed an issue which caused players to sometimes survive, uh, survive fatal fall damage with 1 HP. I mean, it's not an issue I ran across, and honestly, it's kind of a good issue, but whatever. They fixed that issue. You can now die from fall damage a little bit easier now. Uh, fixed an issue causing teammates' names to jitter. Fixed an error message that players would sometimes receive when being invited to a BR match when they hadn't completed the Save the World tutorial mission yet. So, yeah, they fixed a bunch of bugs, but then also, when it goes down to weapons, we've got some brand new changes here, which are actually kind of useful. So, the first one is remove traces from the silenced SMG. The silenced SMG is the best of the SMG but it still sucks compared to assault rifles and there's no real stealth case for it right now because it's only stealthier. Uh, they've actually removed the trace rounds from it so you can't see where you're being shot from. You just get shot and you'll hear the doo 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 which means that it should be a lot better as of this update because now it's the ultimate stealth weapon. If you don't think someone can see where you're coming from, they won't be able to tell based on the tracer. They have to kind of guess based on the noise, I guess. And if you're outside the range where they can hear the noise, it is the true stealth weapon. And given that it sucks at long range, like I think it's a really good stealth weapon and I think that's fair and balanced personally. Also, uh, the sniper rifles will no longer reload when in scope view. You can't, uh, you know, scope someone in it, like shoot them, wait a few seconds, then shoot them again. If you want to reload your sniper rifle, you have to pull out the sniper scope. You can still stay in the uh, sniper if you want, uh, presumably, while you uh, wait for it, to, uh, if, while you know you look at someone, but you can't reload while sniping someone, which I think is kind of useful. It, it makes it so you can't just do this, like, consistent shoot, 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 same spot, and maybe they show that. No, they're going to make it so you have to uh, go out of scope view while you do that sort of stuff, which makes the sniper game a little bit fairer in my opinion. Uh, also, they fixed an issue which prevented grenades from exploding. Again, I think always good to fix issues, right? Uh, fixed an issue which caused crosshairs to disappear if a sniper rifle was fired right before the battle bus took off. Uh, fixed several issues with smoke grenades and basically that's that. So, also, they changed some audio things to make the ambient traps make uh, less am uh, frequent. They've added a new warning sound that activates when a player approaches a ceiling or wall trap, which I think is interesting. Uh, teammates' footsteps now sound quieter than enemies. That's such a big deal in my opinion. Uh, it's now easier to hear footsteps through walls, which is 
is interesting. You know, like they've reduced the uh, dampening on them. Basically, they they changed the audio engine a whole bunch in this. Uh, the sniper gunshot has got even louder in this update, or at least you'll hear it from further away. Uh, reduced the gunshot volume for tactical shotguns. Again, kind of interesting on that one. Uh, reduced the volume of revolver equip slash reload slash fire sounds. New sounds for medkit, shield potion, slurp juice consumables. Uh, now as you hear the sound for another player gliding towards you. All audio for the dance mode is adjusted for the SFX slider. Uh, when, so now you have to have that turned up. Uh, removed low frequency content in the ticking clock sound that players try prior to the uh, storm ice drinking. Again, kind of useful. And uh, basically, wind volume reacts more dynamically while skydiving. And basically, the gist of that is that sound has been rebalanced and you'll hear, if you if you listen to the game carefully, you'll notice pretty much all of those things a little bit and I think that's kind of a big deal. Also, a bunch of performance uh, uh, increases, most of them on all platforms, but a lot of them are uh, particularly for the Xbox One. Uh, you know, CPU stores have been reduced, uh, lighting and shadow has been uh, improved, uh, UI performance improved, physics improvements improved, CPU performance, uh, basically performance across the board, it's just all on the up and up, which is something you might like, uh, I think, anyway. Uh, the UI, you can now use your personal stats and XP gained at the end of the match or when spectating, kind of useful. You can choose to abandon one of your daily uh, challenges each day, uh, added net debug stats panel to the battle royale UI, and uh, basically added a bunch of new settings to the whole thing. Uh, then bug fixes, more bug fixes. Then spectating bug fixes, then general, fix the rare crash that would occur when backing out to the main menu. So, game's just gone a lot more stable. It's also worth men mentioning there's Xbox One free heroes for single player you can acquire for a limited time only, so why not give it a check out if you're on the Xbox One? And just in general, uh, there is a big new feature coming out tomorrow. That's the thing to be excited for. It's a brand new game mode. Like, Fortnite Battle Royale just came out like a couple of months ago, and they're already adding a brand new game mode tomorrow. I'm excited to play whatever that is. I'm going to be looking forward to that. And they're revealing it at the uh, the game show, which is at 7 p.m. Uh, PST. So you won't actually see it tomorrow if you're in the UK, because tomorrow it's actually december the 8th the, the stream and the game mode will come out a little bit off that but there's gonna be a limited time mode going into fortnite and i'm really excited to see it december uh the fortnite devs have just been doing a really good job in terms of like nailing just content after content after content uh the communication with fans has been next level and i really feel like there are just so many reasons this game is going great and i just wanted to let you know that there's a brand new update out and there are all the things in it so thank you very much for watching this video um third channel i don't know what goes on here but i hope you will subscribe if you want to see more of these um because I will upload Fortnite news whenever I feel like it, which is every time an update comes out right now. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.